Hey guys, it's Core Ross and Welcome to Switch News. So the Sugar Freight event has just started up and this is what you get greeted to as soon as you open the game. So the event calendar runs from the 22nd for two weeks. Now of course, this isn't the 22nd, this is the 27th. So presumably the 22nd was probably the original kind of plan, but because the Xbox ended up getting its patch kind of late, just actually yesterday, with a few issues as well, but I guess uh, they had to get that out before they could actually launch it. So yeah, it's out today and it's going to last for just two weeks, not very long. And it's a 5v5 one round match and you've got to collect 50 sweets dropped from the enemy players. So this is basically kill confirmed with respawns on a custom map. And of course there's the Sugar Freight collection as well, which is paid packs, but you can get some for free as usual. And we've got a brand new menu, so this looks really cool. Let's take a look at the packs then to start with. So I've got one free. Let's open this up and have a look. See what I get. I get a <laughs> weapon skin for Ella's gun. Ella's shotgun to be specific. I don't think I'm going to use that because I don't actually use that gun. So we've got a universal weapon skin, which is this felt look. It's a bit drab in color wise, no, not very uh, bright in any way, considering this is a candy themed you know, thing. Then we've got the uniforms, <laughs> these of course are not going to look, I don't know, like a, with a normal headgear it is kind of odd, it almost looks like their textures are too big, but of course with a full set they're going to look quite nice. Yeah, we've got all these uniforms for everyone in the packs. Oh my god. <laughs> it is a little bit... It's, it's, it's weird, it's kind of a little unnerving in, in a way. Oh wow. That I actually really like. The texture on that is much more like a, a big knitting pattern which is very unique. That actually looks kind of cool. Whereas the felt ones are kind of in a odd place between reality and this kind of Muppet world. Oh, wow. That is disgusting. <laughs> okay, so the headgear is obviously where it's at. And it, the problem I'm going to have with these is just when they show up randomly in future games and absolutely scare the bejesus out of me when someone runs up and mellies me with this freaking face on. But I do really like the headgears, like the uniforms. The uniforms, I don't really care if I get them or not because they're not, they don't look that interesting to me. But the headgears are absolutely weirdly simple and a little freaky and somehow because they're just based on their normal kind of headgears something kind of cool about them because i think these would go really well with normal headgear normal uniforms and <laughs> the ella one oh man look at her oh geez ella yeah so these are where it's at like really i do think these are pretty cool i i don't know if they're really halloweeny but I do think they're freaking sweet. Oh, what the castles one actually looks, I think maybe the best. It's the fact that, again, he's got an actual helmet on. Is that kind of split between reality and this Muppet world, which somehow, you know, works. So these are the custom skins for some guns. These are obviously a little different take on the felt. And I can see what they're doing with it. They're trying to make the gun look like the normal gun, but with felt, like, you know, like a toy gun, basically. So it doesn't, it doesn't take them out of, it doesn't make them crazy color like this candy world. It just makes them oddly in a, stuck in a world between two worlds. They're kind of unnerving. I can kind of see what they might have been trying to go with. Yeah. So there's that skin there, right? That's the one we can get for the kind of custom. So it's mostly grey with a bit of brown. And the universal is uh, a bit more brown. <laughs> Maybe a bit more white. 
You have to guys all to let me know what you think. And then we have the woolen puppet. The thing is, like, who is this based on? I think it's just based on someone or Cause it, you know, obviously I'd be maybe going towards Blackbeard, but like I don't think it is. Or if it's supposed to be something that connected to something else. Yeah, I'm just not getting the reference to. So yeah, the headgears here are pretty cool. I really like the fact they're just kind of weirdly in the middle of, like, unnerving me. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I really like IQ's one and Ella's one. Oh, the derpiness. That is something else. But that's it. That is the Sugar Freight Collection. Of course, we get one for free and then we will get probably at least maybe two challenges that will give us some more. So maybe two more free packs. Here we go. I'm not sure what this is going to be like, because of course this is the first time we've ever had respawns in Siege. I'm also playing this on PC with a controller, so this is definitely not the game mode. And it looks like we're going with Thermite, so we've got IQ. See, these cosmetics are kind of weird, because they're obviously just like normal, like with the looks of them. But obviously they're made of felt. It's... It's a weird thing. It's a weird, like, very close to normal. And then, of course, the head is nowhere near normal. Nice little intro here, just like the trailer. You fucking muppets! Deep inside. Is it just me? <laughs> what was in that candy? Oh, that's very cool. Eliminate the traitors, steal cake, win. Ooh. Simple well, that was weird. Is that, is that like, is that like, uh, invincibility there? Can you spawn? Oh yeah, let's have a look at the uh, grenade. <laughs> uh, a little candy thing. <laughs> that was really cool. Oh yeah. Weird. Yep, that looks weird. Psst, trick or treat, motherfucker. 